So let's talk yeah. about another area. Okay. How about clothing? Oh, yeah, this is, this is, well, for the ladies, maybe not for the men. We and like to said, shop, it, right? Yeah, that, that could be, this one is the one we hear, we get the most resistance from when someone says, when we tell somebody and we're looking at their budget, you need to, you know, set a very tight budget about what you spend in shopping. But, you know, I'm sure that a lot of us can go to our closet and we'll find clothes in the closet that already have a tag on, that, that still have a tag uh, on. Absolutely. That was never taken off after a we bought Absolutely. Right? You have so, some. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, not a lot, though. Not, not a lot. lot. Okay. I cleaned up. I cleaned it up. Right. So if we go into our closet, right, mm -hmm. and clean out and look at the clothes that we already have, and, and mix and match these clothes to try and come up with new outfits, different outfits, different ways that we can wear the clothes that we already have. We don't always have to go shopping. Right. But one of the other fun things that we can do, if we do need something, then let's go to the thrift shop. Yeah, Is that absolutely. a bad word? No, there's nothing wrong with thrift shop. I love thrift shops. A lot of things. And you know what we found? Because it used to be, and, and I'm, okay, I'm going to tell it, I'm going to be, be transparent here. Right. When you first told me about going to a thrift shop, and I didn't go with you. You and the girls used to go, and, and I would never go. And I would tell you, it's like, I, I'm not going to thrift shop. Right. And so I think I finally did start going with you to the thrift shop. And then the first time I went, I, I, I kept having this feeling like I was itching. You know, <laughs> and I'm just being transparent. I kept saying, you know, I don't like going to thrift okay, shop. It, makes, look, me, it look. makes me itch. So he didn't you know? want to go, right? Yeah. So, 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 tell him what happened. so anyway, I, I did that for a few times. And then I went with you one day, and I went in and just looking around. And I found the most phenomenal leather bomber jacket <laughs> that was just, this was like a collector's jacket. And I got hooked. I mean, I, so I, after that, I was like, I was uh, no more itching for me. Right. So, you know, and, and so it's just one thing that we have to really look at it with that is we have to, to, to push back against that part of us that would say, I can't, I can't do used. this, yeah. I can't do that. Uh, because you have to understand that there's a, there's a plan that you you put in place here and it doesn't mean that you'll always have to do even some of these things that we're talking about we're talking about getting yourself to a point where you're financially solid mm -hmm. where you're free that you know your budget might be larger you might be able to go shopping every week you might be able to have a premium package if you want to you might be able to eat dinner out anywhere you want to eat you and, and if, if that's our goal our goal is to be you know uh, free mm -hmm. financially so that we will not suffer and we can leave uh, something for our children and we can build you know financial wealth then this is just all steps to how we get there we got to change our thinking mm -hmm. we got to renew our mind you know in Romans 12 you know it talks about you know the importance of you know that we need to renew our mind right. Paul speaking there said you know I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God mm -hmm. that we present our bodies a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God and then uh, talking about what our reasonable service is for that then that we renew our minds, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, because we have to be, we, not being conformed to the world, but that we transform, mm -hmm. okay? And so one of the things that we've, with, that's happened with us is we've probably done, there's been transformation over the years, stuff that we didn't really learn as children. Right. And we got into bad habits. Mm -hmm. And so now what we're really talking about is getting away and getting out of those bad habits right. and start developing and using these biblical principles to get yourself where you want to be exactly. so that you can have success. And you know, and that's where we ultimately want to be. We want to be, we want to be good stewards over our finances. And right. so, to do that, you've got to understand money, and you've got to understand the value of it. You got to understand, you know what? Where I'm wasting money here. Before you make a purchase, take a look at it and say, can I get a better price? You know, don't be spontaneous in your purchases. Right, right. Give yourself some time. Let me do some shopping around. See if I can get this a little bit cheaper. Can I get right. it used? That's right. You know, even when you purchase a car, yeah. I don't think we've bought a brand new car ever. No. Maybe no, no, we, 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 we purchased new cars, but what we decided was, and this has been for, for us over 15 years, right. what we decided was it was the value, uh, it, it just, it, it was, it didn't, the, weighing it and balancing it, it didn't make sense because we could get a, a three-year-old car off of a lease mm -hmm. and we could pay thousands and thousands of dollars less and the car's not, car's not hurt. Right. It's still a new car to us. Right. Every car we've had, once we've got it, we've enjoyed it. Right. You know, because it's new to us and it's nothing wrong with the car. Right. And then we don't pay that premium for driving it off the lot saying, hey, I, want, I love the smell of a new car. Well, they make some perfume or car <laughs> scents for that. You can spray that in there, you know, but don't get hooked exactly. on something. And, and, I, and I know we've got so many more of these and we won't be able to go through each and every one. But what we want to do every time we come to you is we want to show you how real this is, mm -hmm. that you can, you, these things are obtainable. We're not talking about something that's really 
actually drastic. Right. It's actually just being a good steward. Mm -hmm. And, and, and a lot of times when we get into these, even in ministering at, at, a, at our church and when we're talking to our, to our folks, you know, this is big for us. We really know that the quality of life for people is important for them to be able to, to come and grow. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if their quality of life at home right now is bad because they're in bondage financially to, to debt and, and, and they can't really, they seem, to, sometimes they get to, you, you get to feel like it's hopeless. Right. Okay, we try to give you a, a different view of this because you got to understand even if you're in there it doesn't mean you're going to stay there okay the situation being the way it is doesn't have to be a permanent situation you decree, and, decree and declare you will not stay in that's that right spot, you know? absolutely and all you have to do is say okay look i'm here i repent lord i need you to help me to get out of this situation i'm going to take some of these financial principles and apply them to my life and you will see how the lord will begin to help you to come up with ways and ideas yeah. that you can save money one of the things that we did was we looked at all of our bills to see if there were mistakes Oh yeah. And errors. People oh, yeah. make mistakes. Oh yeah. I mean, they it do. could be a dollar, and but if somebody's charging you an extra dollar every month on almost all of your bills, that's a lot of and money. And if you had a hundred thousand subscribers to something, and uh, and and again, uh, we're not saying that this is that all businesses are bad and they try to intentionally, uh, you know, uh, inflate but you bills. Mistake. But mistakes can happen. A lot of things are generated by computer. Mm -hmm. Computers can make some mistakes mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. They're programmed by people. Mm -hmm. They can make a mistake, but that you can be overcharged if you don't check your bill. Right. If you don't balance your 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 checkbook. Right. Okay. And you know, and 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 we're we're this is a, a program that we're airing, so people wouldn't know if we were stepping on toes. But I got a big one for you. When you walk into the bank, I've been in there so many times, and you hear someone say, "Could you give me my balance, please?" Yeah. That means you don't know what your balance is. Right. If you don't know what your balance is, well, then it would be very easy for me to take some money from you because right. you didn't know what you had anyway. So right. if your balance was 100, I'll, well, I'll tell you, oh, you got 75, I'll take 25 from right. me. I'm not saying that happens. I'm just saying if that it's a good example you have to know where of your money you is. not knowing right. where your money is right. at any given point. And I tell you this, and you know I'm a stickler for this, um, of all the accounts we have, I know how much money we have. Right. Okay. And, well, well and successful that's, millionaires know where their money oh, is. Oh, absolutely. If you were to walk up to any millionaire today, they can tell you exactly where their money is, mm -hmm. how much they have in which account, where their investment dollars are, if they lost any of that, if they've gained any, you need to know where your money is. And you might think, well, you know what, I only have x amount and it's small i don't care if it's five cents you need to know that's where right. that nickel is right that's absolutely because when you're a good steward over the small then the lord can then begin to bless you with more that, so if we can show right. him you know what god i only make a hundred dollars a week but if i'm a good steward over that hundred dollars a week and i'm sure i'm not wasting any of that hundred dollars mm -hmm. a week then right. that hundred dollars can turn into five hundred dollars right. can that's turn right. into a thousand dollars a week can turn into fifteen hundred and so forth but right. you got to learn how to manage it from the beginning you do and and, and you know something that's, that's, that's pretty incredible if you think about it if if we know that god is not a wasteful god mm -hmm. you know we know that that, that he has a, a system for blessing us okay and he's even talked about the blessing right. okay but think about this god being who he is and knowing that a person is wasteful, hmm. okay, and you can't control uh, your finances, you don't know where your money is, then is that a, a good place to, to put a blessing? Or is that a good place to add more to? If you can't handle what you have, right. why would I give you more? That's what the story of the talents is all about, That's right. okay? Mm -hmm. So we have to understand that we have a responsibility to be good stewards. And then we serve an awesome God, Lord Jesus Christ, right. has, has done so much for us already to give us uh, this platform to be able to have and to, and to live and have a successful, joyous, uh, peaceful, Amen. healthy life. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and look, if your money is toe up from the flow up, you know, it's kind of hard for you to feel joyful and have peace, mm -hmm. especially when you feel like I can't answer the phone because it's a creditor. Right. Okay, or I need to hide my car around the corner because, you know, the, the repo man uh, mm. is looking for it. Okay, or you're concerned that, you know, you're going to get behind on your mortgage and or you might lose your home. So all those things are real. They're reality. That's why we love this topic. We like preaching and ministering to people in this area because we want to tell them that you can have success. Right. Okay, you don't have to be if you're doomed or you're down. You know, it, you don't have to stay that way. You don't have to beat yourself up. Mm -hmm. If you made a mistake, as you said before, we, we serve a loving God, okay? And one of the things he'll do, he'll always, he, he's faithful. He'll forgive you, okay? Thank he, God he won't, he's forgiven he, you. he won't hold it against you. No. 
Okay, but you gotta you gotta recognize where you're making you gotta mistakes. Take ownership. Take ownership, mm -hmm. and then by taking ownership and going back to them and saying, or going to God and, and saying, "Look, I made a mistake." You know what I'm saying? I messed up in this area. Right. Okay, forgive me. You know what I mean? I repent for that. You know what I mean? And 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 help me to get my stuff together. You'll find out that things will start happening faster things than you will thought. Things start happening, but you got to make a commitment that I'm not going to waste. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look at what I have, and I'm going to do the best with what I have. Right. In another area, um, when it comes to personal hygiene. Right. And wanting to get as women. We like to look good, and yeah. so we want to get our hair done, we right. want to get our nails done, we right. want to get our feet done, we want to do all these things that that, that help us to look better, right. which is, which, which, and that's which good, is what we should we, do. Because we like you to look good. We like, you, you guys like for us to look good, and yeah. we like to look good. Yeah. Um, but there's things that we can do to help us save money in those right. areas as well, because it can be expensive. If you're going to get your hair done every week, and you're getting your nails done every week, and you're getting your feet done every week, that adds up, yeah, and it can it eat into your budget. Oh, absolutely. So we can do these things ourselves, lady. Ladies, while we're on a budget, we can say, you know what, I can learn how to do my own. And you know, you're on a delicate subject right now. It is a I, delicate subject. I had subject. to say that because, uh, you know, I know some ladies I say, you can say anything you want to say, but you can't talk about my hair and my nails. <laughs> but but, but, but I, I, women just, are smart. I'm just throwing that and in. And we want yeah. to, and see, and those of us that have a household right. where we are in charge of maybe the budget for the food or, or maybe uh, looking over the money, whoever's in charge of the money, as women, we want to be successful for our families, for ourselves, mm -hmm. and we want to be able to bring in more money. And so, temporarily, if we need to do our own hair, or if we need to do our own nails, I mean, right. there's ways that you can get your nails done. Instead of going into the salon and paying $20, you can go to the drugstore and get the kind that you glue on right. for $5, I mean, and they look just as good. You know, one of the you things that, that, that has been um, pivotal for us in, in reference to this transformation mm -hmm. financially um, is when we finally made the commitment and we realized what, what had gone on and you know, we, we've got a book that we wrote that tells a lot about our story and, and the step-by-step mm -hmm. -step process. One of the things that you and I got was we really, it's like the light came on. Right. And we started to understand something, but one of the things that I understood that really, really just for me was the, was the, the, the switch was when I realized all of the sacrifice or the changes that we needed to make, mm -hmm. this isn't permanent. No. You, you do things that you have to do now so that later you'll be able to do the things that you desire or want to do. Right. So it's like it's, it's a plan of a set period of time that you discipline yourself and you learn about these stewardship principles mm -hmm. uh, that would allow you to get out of one place on where you are and to put you in a place where you'll never ever have to do that again. And you know what, and once you understand those principles, and you get them down in your heart, and these are things that you do, you will always do them. That's right. Even when you have millions of dollars you don't want to waste, you still want to use those same principles, so you'll right. still use the same discipline with millions of dollars, and then you'll get even more, you, you know? And one of the things we have to learn how to do is to give. I mean, that's a yeah. part of being successful, yeah. too. It is. So you it learn is. how to It is one back. of the principles. It is one of the principles, yeah. and we learn that in the scripture as well. Right. You know, we want to sew. But right. sometimes we feel like we're so tight that we can't sew because that's there's right. no room for for any movement of anything. That's right. That's right. So it, if we can learn how to cut back, we can find that we'll have money to even sew with. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, I, if we we like to read, um, and we've read uh, so many books, and there's one book, The Millionaire Next Door, mm -hmm. um, and there's so many other books that we've we've read over the years. One of the things that was fascinating about some of our reading and research, when you really study millionaires, mm -hmm. um, it's not what most people think. Not the <laughs> average millionaire. Exactly. Because most of them are very, very responsible, and most of them utilize these principles that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are very frugal. Warren Buffett still lives in a house he bought some 40 years ago and paid $35,000 for. Warren Buffett, one of the top, he's on Forbes' top 10, uh, top 10 list of wealthiest people in the world, and most everybody knows who Warren Buffett is. Right. Now, he doesn't own a private jet. Now, he, I'm sure, uses planes and things when he wants to, but he, he doesn't do things that really pulls uh, away from his, 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 the view of money right. and the way he invests his money. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean anything's wrong with having a new house or having, certain, having things, but it just shows you that's a snapshot into one of the wealthiest men exactly. in the world. Exactly. And it's a lot of that. So we're, we believe that we can assist people uh, in reference to what God's done in us, uh, done through us, things that have happened, to be able to show them how to become successful. And if you're in a bad spot, because uh, I know we're getting down to the end of the program, uh, we just want to encourage those that are listening. Each week we'll come back, 
we'll bring you some tips because we don't want to just talk about this and not tell you how to do it because right. when you and I listen to things one of the first like, things we say how do you do it how do you do it <laughs> so we like to tell you how we di- how we did this and how we know now that God's really done a thing in us that will allow us to bless and help other people amen so we've got to a point uh, in the show where we're down to the last I think 30 30 seconds or so so we just want we're going to close out with this with just encouraging the folks letting them know that please tune in and and and, and follow what we're doing go to our website um, you know it'll be listed at the bottom of the screen um, come out and visit us on Sundays we have uh, services at 11 o'clock uh, and we we do seminars periodically mm-hmm. uh, throughout the year where we'll do financial seminars and we'll go through this information in detail because this is actually a three-day uh, seminar it's yeah. that much information so we just want to share that tell you that we love you and we're so excited that we had an opportunity to be able to come into your home this morning or this evening uh, wherever you are in the country or the world watching this video or DVD uh, we're just excited about this and we know that God's given us something that can help take you to your success God bless you and we'll see you next time Bye bye. Hi, I'm Pastor Rod Spratley, and this is my lovely wife, Pastor Jennifer, and we just want to invite you to go to our website. Our website is www.kingdomlifechurchintl.org.